Come on, guys, you're at SKS here. Today we're going to be using Blender. We're going to figure out a way to change the default text. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. Boom, Shift A. Want to add in a text. RX90, and we'll just change it to our channel name to make it nice and easy. All right, so now that you got all that stuff done, if you click on the text itself and go over to this A area, underneath font, you see that you can actually change it from like regular bold or salad. If you do this little folder here, it should find everything in your C Windows fonts. However, I know sometimes it has a hard time of actually distinguishing different fonts. And sometimes the fonts that are a little bit more artistic or not, it's going to be a full transition into it. This one had like bones and everything on it and it sort of turned into this. So just keep that in mind. Now we're going to head over to defont.com. If you guys haven't used this, basically it is a free font website where you're able to pick and choose what you actually want to do. So if you click on sci-fi, for example, we'll type in our default text that we want here. So like so. And if you click on more options, if you're trying to sell the work or have it where you actually can do whatever you want with it, make sure you have 100% free on there and then search around and pick a font. We're going to go with the ethnocentric here. So let's go ahead and click on download. And as you guys can see, it's going to pop down right here. We're just going to open it up. Now there is going to be a read this. There's going to be an RG and a regular RG. So we're just going to click on you Chrome, and click on install. We're just mostly showing you guys how to do this. So don't necessarily need to read the stuff that they say read. As you guys can see, it says ethnocentric RG. So Blender should have a text called ethnocentric RG already inside for us. So let's scroll down all the way over to the E just to show you guys that it's not actually here real quick. So we have Abrima, Abrima BD, and Emoji One Color, but yet we do not have the one that we just installed. But there's a fix to it. So we're going to move it from our C Windows font area. So to find this, you just click on the C drive, go to your Windows, and go to fonts. It should be your default drive on your main operating system. Now we're going to search for the ethnocentric regular. We're going to copy this and basically we're going to move it over into our own folder. So if you want to make like your own dedicated folder on your desktop, it's easier for Blender to find that because it just refreshes its data every single day, but it doesn't want to hog up too many resources. So this is a way to get around it so it can always find it quicker. So we are in our own desktop font folder here. So let's just go in and paste it on here like a so. As you guys can see, ethnocentric RG. So we're going to close out of that. Boom. We're going to click on this little folder here. We're going to go over to desktop, click on our font folder, and as you guys can see, the ethnocentric RG is there. Swap to it, and now we have our own custom text. If this tutorial helped you guys out, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.